So Martin suggests using an alternative approach uh, to OOA is to write out use cases. Uh, recall that a use case is a simple story illustrating a single execution or pointing out an important obstacle uh, that the user might confront. Uh, for the case of the coffee maker, can you come up with a few use cases? What's brewing? So uh, uh, if they did press the brew button, okay, that was, I guess, the first use case, uh, there's a couple of things that could happen. Everything could be right. I guess all of our preconditions are there. Or uh, there could be uh, no water for the brewing process to start, or just the filter's not in place, or no coffee grounds. Um, those are some problems that could happen. So on, on that one, um, notice that so far we haven't, we don't have any sensor for the grounds, mm -hmm. okay? So if there's no grounds in there, you're gonna get very, very weak coffee, mm -hmm. okay? And if there's no filter, well, you're gonna get your coffee pretty quickly. Right, it seems, I guess I have a question in regards to that use case is, the problem of them not having coffee grounds something that the system should even worry about because it seems like that would be hard to tell. Like the filter being in place, I can imagine being something a sensor could tell, but how much coffee is in your your filter could be maybe something that's not supported. I don't know. So this is an issue uh, with uh, designing uh, software and hardware at the same time. So you could imagine, for example, uh, in the Mark V, having a sensor for the receptor receptacle actually clicking in, okay, mm -hmm. when, you, when you push it in there. Trying to figure out how many grounds are in there or how, you know, how deep the grounds are or something. Uh, our hardware uh, people haven't gotten that one yet, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're, we're not going to be able to sense that very well. It sounds a little bit like trying to count jelly beans in a jar or something. Uh, but anyways, uh, the other use cases I have uh, involve removing or placing the pot because we have an indicator for that. So that right. was something that right. stood out. And then also, when you fill the water receptacle, we have an indicator whether the water is there or not. So that seemed to be a, an interaction that had something the user could see. So let's consider four of those. The user press, press, uh, pushes the brew button, and that's our primary uh, one. And then some contingent ones. Uh, the containment vessel is not ready. Uh, the coffee is all gone. Or we could have that the, the brewing is actually complete. 